right, so one of my kids' uh, Christmas presents just arrived, and I'm waiting for another one of the same to come for the other kid. And, well, they're not kids. They're 19 and 21, but they're still kids. All right, so let's check this out and um, unboxing it and showing it to you guys before I wrap it up for Christmas. All right, so I don't expect much for $50. Yes, $50 for a whole entire beginner violin set. And there's a method behind my madness. Now, I purchased myself a violin, a beginner's violin. No, it's not a Stradivarius. And I know there's going to be a lot of violin snobs out there saying, oh, these are cheap ugly toys. Well, whatever. <laughs> I never played an instrument before, so I wanted a violin. So I have a method behind the madness. So I bought one each for my kids. Now, the one I got on Amazon was by a company called E-Star, and it's an E-Star Eva 3. And that one set me back um, with tax $109 and change. And this one set me back $50. And then with tax, it was like 50 I don't know, like six bucks or something like that. So there you go. All right. So the method behind my madness is by giving each one of my kids, my adult kids, a violin, they'll have no other choice but to help me uh, learn how to play this because they are way smarter than me, if you know what I mean. They'll look at YouTube videos. By the way, let's start uh, checking this out. They'll look at YouTube videos and uh, teach their old mother probably how to play, even though they don't know how to play, right? So I figured we'll get the kids all set up sitting around uh, the computer screen and uh, we'll try to like, I don't know, become a, a three people uh, violin band. All right. So it comes with this uh, gig bag and it's not the best. It's not the worst. It's padded. And we have a zipper compartment over here. Then you lift this little up, uh, this little piece up. By the way, this is a 4-4 four -four full size violin. And I'm going to unzipper it and let's check it out. Now, Glary... Um, this is a Glary, and Glary is known for their entry-level, inexpensive, cheap violins. And um, on Amazon, they sell them for, like, uh, more than double the price. So um, I was very surprised. I thought the best price would be on eBay, I mean, on Amazon, but eBay was the cheapest. All right, here we go. So this is, oh, nice. Okay, let me uh, get the instruction pamphlet away. But there's what you get. You get basically... Shows you uh, all the different parts of the violin and uh, like a diagram. It shows you actually, because you're going to have to build this baby. <laughs> I'm going to have to uh, put the bridge in there and uh, adjust the strings, which I really don't know how to do. So it tells you how to go ahead and do that and how to ro uh, rosin the uh, bow, which it comes with rosin. And that's not going to be too much fun for uh, somebody who knows nothing about violins. You now on the back, it tells you how to tune it, how to maintain it. How to control the humidity. Yes, this is wood. <laughs> you have to keep it away from moisture. But right off the bat, here's the features. Okay, this is actually a very, very nice looking violin. Um, this is the Glary GV302. And uh, this one is uh, the color, by the way, <laughs> that they mentioned in the description. You're going to laugh. <laughs> they called it dark, dumb, light. And they put the word dumb in there. I don't know. I guess they meant to say like dull. I don't know, because <laughs> dumb means dull in English. So um, in Chinese, they probably thought that that's what that meant. Okay, so you get um, with the dark, dumb light GV302 by Glary, you get accessories. So you get a case, you get a bow, you get the rosin, you get uh, steel, str uh, yeah, steel strings, you get an electronic tuner, um, you get a shoulder rest as well. And uh, so let's go over. Now, um, the violin is a spruce top. Uh, maple back and let's just undo this and it's uh, not heavily glossed which I like um, the fact that it's not heavily glossed because those cheap heavily glossed violins look even worse when they're over glossed now we have silica gel let's uh, just get rid of that there we go all right so the back is maple the top is spruce and the sides are maple and actually this is uh, painted very very nicely if you look um, I mean, it seems to be finished well. Um, I don't really see much problems with it. Um, although it's a little rough around the edges, um, in some areas, but what do you expect <laughs> for $50 and then tax? All right. So now, um, what I liked about it was usually you have, um, a black, um, plastic, um, chin rest. This one comes with, I don't know how to pronounce it right, but jujube wood. And so this is jujube wood. And uh, so you have jujube wood on the uh, chin rest, 
you have a maple scroll and neck right there. This is ebony wood, which is really great. So, uh, yeah, so your fingerboard is ebony wood. You have a jujube tail piece. Um, again, it's not plastic like most of the cheap ones. Um, you have a jujube end pin. You have also a violin that um, a, a violin bow that's made out of arbor wood, but we'll go over that in a second. And uh, yeah, so uh, the bridge is uh, maple as well. So this is actually a nice looking violin. So let me hold it up for you guys. And there you go. The lighting is not very good. But um, yeah, because it's like two o'clock in the morning <laughs> and everyone's sleeping. This was the only time I could show you guys this. But uh, here we go. Look at that. That is actually really nice, right? I'm very, very, very uh, surprised uh, that I got this for only 50 bucks and then tax. Again, there's uh, the scroll and the neck. Uh, quite pretty. And now, for the part I hate is having to put this bridge in because I know nothing whatsoever about violins. But we have these little, I think these are tuning pegs. And some of them only had one tuning peg for that price. So this was uh, definitely a plus. Um, all right, so this will take the bridge out and we'll go over that in a minute. So you get the tuner right here. You get a padded necklace, which attaches uh, to the bottom of it. And we have uh, strings. Let's check out the strings. All right, so we're getting uh, Glary violin strings. Very, very interesting. Steel metal alloy violin strings. Probably not the best. If you probably upgraded it to, uh, you know, better quality strings, this would probably sound better. So here's what the strings look like. And, uh, yeah, so... The bow. Let's go over the bow. So let's take it out. Now, it's not your finest bow, if you know what I mean. Uh, you know, it's a little rough around the edges. We have a little mother of pearl dot there, a little bit of rubber. And it, at first, I thought that was leather. Um, yeah, so the frog is not the most beautiful. Um, let me hold it up. And this is going to be a long video, but this might help you if you want to buy this. Um, the hair, it says Mongolian hair. Don't know how true that is. And I'm trying to get a close-up for you guys to see that. And, uh, yeah, so the painting is a little, you know, rough. You know, it's nothing spectacular. There you go. Um, yeah, I mean, it's like, ah, eh, but what do you want <laughs> for this price? I mean, it's basically, you can uh, end up with what I paid for it. Um, all the accessories would probably cost what I paid for this whole entire setup. All right, so the bridge. The bridge is going to be a problem. And, uh... Yeah, I'm not really very good at this, and I do not want to pay a music store to have to put this together for me. So let me try to pull out this, and let's check it out. All right, so I'm hoping to God that these have score lines in them, because I don't have those special tools that I see people in other videos, um, you know, the ones they have that file down these little slats or these little grooves, and no. Uh, sadly, it does not have that. Oh, boy. So I'm not going to know where to position the string. So basically, you're supposed to loosen up the strings over here um, and then pull them up and then slide this baby under there. But I don't have any guidelines, so this may be a bad thing. But I thought ahead. I was worried about that. So what I did do was I ordered on uh, eBay um, a bunch of these maple bridges. Um, it was probably like under six or seven bucks and you get two of them. And uh, they had the lines in them already. So I might have to switch out when the other ones come. All right, so let me try to install the bridge, and I'll be back. All right, so I'm absolutely and unequivocally pissed at myself because I just I just snapped the E-string right off by putting the bridge on. And uh, I don't even know how to restring this. So, oh, God, already this is a nightmare. All right, well, I'm glad they came with the extra strings. Let me see if I can figure this out. I mean, I got the bridge on. I think it's right. It's in between the two midpoints of the F holes. All right, pray for me. Okay, by the grace of God, I think I figured it out. So it was this string, and I think, yeah, I think I put it on right. Oh, God. <laughs> I, I, was, uh, I was ready to, uh, what do you call it, give up. I was ready to, like, throw this thing out the window. All right, so next, we have the rosin, the, we have the rosin, the bow. Now, I roughed it up, and this is the rosin it came with, and let's roughen it up um, and try to get some sounds out of this, even though I don't know how to play it. All right, so I hope that I tighten this the right way. Apparently, it's supposed to be, like, more narrow in the center. 
um, at the end. Maybe I bent it too much. Don't know. All right. But the first time you use your uh, bow, you're going to have to like really, they say, I mean, break your butt rosining it. Otherwise, it'll make no sound. Let's try without the rosin. Yep. Okay. So we got no sound because of that. And by the way, I did not tune this. I don't think any of these strings are tuned. Let's listen to it. I, I didn't get out that tuning thing, but this feels tight enough on the bridge. I don't know. Sounds good to me. <laughs> All right. So you just got to rub this bow. Oh, my goodness. Yep. The sides. Um, Just keep going and going and going and going. And, yeah, I'm going to be back. And this could take 10 minutes. All right, so it's done. All right. Now, I don't know how to hold the bow correctly. I think you put your thumb in between the frog, um, your other finger over here, your other fingers over here, and bend them in this way. Um, and in 10 o'clock position. Now, I'm not going to show myself on camera because I am too shy. All right, let's try this out for the first time and see if I rosined it enough. All right, you ready? Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. But Okay, so that's basically the sound you're going to get from this if you have absolutely no idea whatsoever what you're doing. So it sounds like something out of a horror movie. Maybe a Freddy Krueger or um, a Shining movie or a Psycho. Yeah, that, that would be great for sound effects. Um, so here is uh, my take on this $50 violin set. For $50, hell yeah. Uh, you might encounter a problem. A string or two might go bing. And by the way, that thing almost took my eye out. It flew across the room. It went bing right by my eyeball. Bada bing, bada, you know, and then you lose an eye. So my uh, take on this, this is a very, very nice looking violin. Let me just uh, take my phone off the stand a moment and show you again. So here we go. 50 bucks plus tax. It cost me about 56 bucks. You get all the accessories. You get the gig bag. You get the aggravation of almost losing an eye and having to play music store when you never played music store before because I sure as hell um, after paying only $56 with tax for this whole set. I'm not taking this to a music store to have them charge me. I don't know what they charge. I don't know, 50 bucks, 70 bucks to set this stuff up for you. Uh-uh-uh, no way. Um, there's no way this cheapskate over here is doing that. So I rosined it. Um, yeah, I, I figured out how to rosin it. I figured out how to put the bridge in. I don't know if it's correct. I figured out how to put the string in. Um, after it went bing, it almost took my eye out. And this is going to make a great Christmas present for my kids. And now they're going to be stuck hanging out with their mother. And all three of us are going to try to learn how to play this. All right, guys, thanks for watching. See you all soon. And this is actually a nice, nice looking violin. Let me try to take it in better light. Look at that uh, jujube. Uh, wood. Again, the tail is jujube wood. Um, we have ebony for the, um, what do you call that? Uh, the finger area. We have um, jujube wood up here um, with jujube wood pegs on this uh, scroll and neck area. Um, this is actually quite a quality instrument for the price I paid. Now, is it a Strad? No. And you snobs out there, don't, I don't want to hear any comments. Oh, well, you said you saved up your money, got your kids a, a better uh, setup. Um, you're wasting your money on these uh, toy uh, violins. Um, no, I think this is actually good. Yeah, let me turn it around. This is actually well made. Um, it's actually a solid, solid, solid violin. And again, here is uh, the beautiful dumb. They call it a <laughs> dark, dumb light. Um, there's the dark, dumb light and the coloring and the shading of the wood. 
And uh, so you can see that beautiful uh, rich hue. And I don't think it's dumb at all. And again, there you go. It uh, seems to be finished pretty nicely. Although I would have liked it if they would have uh, colored uh, the back of the neck area. That would have uh, actually been prettier. But uh, there you go. All right. So um, eBay had these for like $49 and change. And then, oh, I just tripped into my chair over here. $49 and change. And then with tax and everything was said and done, it was like 56 bucks. Not bad. Not bad at all for all the stuff you're getting. The tuna, the rosin, the bow. You're getting uh, this beautiful gig bag. All right. Thumbs up on the Glary. And uh, it's the Glary, again, GV302 model. They make a lot of models. So uh, this particular one is natural wood. All right. So long. And no plastic, by the way. I hate plastic pieces. Um, I'll see you guys all soon when I'm going to play in the symphony orchestra. How's about that?